Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Curious Expedition. I'm back with a third playthrough of this game. Today we are going to attempt something different than before. Today we are going to try to play peacefully. Now, as there is a new update, Alpha 23 Collector's Edition version now, that's what we're on, we have or we are most likely going to encounter some new stuff that I'm not familiar with because I came back today and I found out about this update when I loaded the game. So I quickly read the update notes but you know, the developer always changes more stuff than they really tell you. So let's hope it's not going to be anything uh, really, really terrible. Now, so far, though, I like the changes. They added uh, new graphics, they added um, some balance uh, stuff, and they also increased the health of uh, expedition members, which is good, you know. So today we are going to play Johan Huizinga, who is an anthropologist and one of the founders of modern cultural history. Now, he is uh, an anthropologist, as mentioned, so he has a perk anthropology, which means that you can study indigenous cultures in uh, every village you encounter. That will give you a book which you can then uh, submit to a museum for additional and pretty good fame. So our goal now will be mostly collecting these and submitting them as, well, as a tokens of our travels. He also starts with a sailor, who is a definitely good defensive character, and a Persian translator, which will allow us to uh, stay for free in native villages. We also have a donkey, uh, which can carry many additional crates, as you guys know. And we have whiskeys, torches, cotton flares. We have a gun, which is great uh, because it's gonna give us an additional attack dice. And we have a shovel in case we encounter something, <laughs> you know, worth digging up. So let's start. Welcome back to the Explorer's Scrub, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor the expeditions of our most, uh, uh, most, what was it? most successful expedition guy. <laughs> uh, word has it that you might be the guy and you and other uh, people. These, Isabel Burke, Frederick Courtney Salas, Nikola Tesla and Richard Francis Burton have six expeditions to prove that we are the best. Now go explore adventure and wins. So as usual we don't have any choices before the first one. We just go to the Tiki Taka grassland in hopes to survive and find something to bring back. Ingra anticipating the upcoming adventure, I stored my equipment on the ship. The crew had preparations left to do, so I saw if there was anything I could do. Sister Adali approached me while we waited. She had boarded the ship and requested to take her to a nearby native village in order to spread the word of God. Ah, let's accept. I accepted since I would gladly do my part to help spread the word of God. Well, not true but just in time our ship was prepared to set sail so do it let's do it my friends now, I'm really hoping that this one will work I usually have a great time playing uh, Johan Huizinga I had a streak of bad luck most of my expeditions in the past few weeks ended horribly around expedition 3 and 4 as you saw so let's hope this one will go better I was deeply absorbed in my studies about this area as you finally reached the shore of our expedition area. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. So let's begin the expedition. Sister Adavi had marked the location of the village she wanted to visit on our map. Good. So as before the first expedition has two regions. We have... Damn our inventory is so... What? Donkeys can carry many additional crates, but he has no carrying capacity. What the hell? Mount. Mounted. So mount. Traveling on the back of an animal, great to increase his comfort. Reduced base sanity cost for traveling. Nice, and we got another attack dice. Hoofs, probably? Hmm. Interesting. So here's the village, uh, we're gonna ignore that for now, 
And we are going to go this way. But this reduced inventory space is a problem. But yeah, you see that uh, we have... Wow, Saber has 6 hit points now on level 1. Our Persian translator has 4. And Sister Alavi has 4. She's superstitious. I'm thinking that we might keep her, though I would much rather have a trader. That one goes for a much better peaceful game. Okay, what is this? Stone circles, right? Yeah. We came across a stone circle that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Maybe they formed a kind of a map? Sister Adavi seemed visibly upset in the idea of desecrating the spiritual site and warned us about incurring the wrath of the gods. Let's analyze the inscriptions. We began to analyze the inscriptions and found that they would help us find out more about this region. Let's reveal a region. Oh damn! It's pretty good. Nice! So now we can go here and see what it has in store for us. It's a cave. Let's explore it. We found a cave. The entrance seemed to lead deep into the mountains. We needed a torch in order to venture into its depths. So let's light the torch and explore. We lit the torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at a chamber. It obviously served as some kind of ceremonial tomb. Inside it were mummified corpses. Let's investigate the mummies. Many of the mummies were too old and rotten to be of any value. However, after a thorough investigation, our search was successful. We got a mummy. Nice. Now the mummy will piss off the natives. So I think we, what we might want to do is go here. And then go to the village. That way we will not be... I'm, I never used the ship before. So let's do it. We're going to promote Azade. Wow, 7 hit points now. Damn, that might be a bit of an overkill with that. But alas, uh, we'll do this. Let's return to the ship and put the mummy in there. And now go to the village here. I'm gonna deliver Sister Adam Lee. This group looked like a group of skilled scouts. I could smell that they had just prepared food. The villagers kind of waved us over and offered some of their freshly cooked food. Nice cooked animal meat! <laughs> That's so good! The natives observed us with curiosity. They were polite and offered us what they could. We have a good standing, so let's deliver the missionary. We accompanied the missionary to the village chief. To reward us, he told us about the best sites to see in the vicinity, including a holy shrine, which he marked on our map. We felt welcome here. They remained very polite and offered us more help. Standing. Let's recruit. We asked around to see if some locals were inclined to join our track. However, none, not one of the villagers wanted to join our expedition. We needed to increase our standing with these people before they could join. Yeah, I changed my mind. Let's see what they have for trade. Oh my god, a golden head. I want it. Would this be enough for it? Yeah, pretty much. Red berries. How much would these be? We could get two for the future endeavors. Uh, that seems pretty cool. How much it would cost to increase the standing with them? For all of the cotton flowers. I'm not going to use them here anyway. And I would like to recruit. Maybe we could get uh, a better animal than the donkey. A buffalo, for example. Or, you know, we could have two of those. Uh, let's... Let's do it. We came to an agreement with the natives, standing free. Now can we recruit? Oh yes, water buffalo! This is so good. So let's get it. A water buffalo can carry many crates. And I'm gonna rest here. 
reject, we're not gonna give them any animal to butcher, and we're gonna study the culture. I would not miss the unique chance to do an anthropological analysis. I listened to the stories of the elders and was able to document many of the customs and history of this highly interesting tribe. So let's see. Let's see. Um, we will leave. I told the man to pack. I wonder if we dismount him, can we? We can mount the buffalo. Wow, this one is way better. I wonder how this is going to work. If we need the upgrade. Uh, we'll see. We'll go this way, this way, and then hopefully... And we can't see where... Compass progress, it's probably somewhere there. Uh, okay, let's go this way. So far, so good. We have a mummy and these two things. Okay, we could rest here, but we're not gonna... Let's go down here to see what there's to see. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's eat the meat. And let's eat this as well. We're gonna explore the graveyard. Dead elephants. An elephant tusk. Now, what is here? Another place to rest. Okay, I'd much prefer to go here and then head up from here. What is this? Is that a hyena? It is. Do we want to promote Harold Phadius? Yeah. Nine hit points, man, that's crazy. Okay, uh, we're gonna get something from the temple, one or two items, and then go up here. It seems like a good, a good plan. So let's rest over nine here. Oh no, he became paranoid. I want to find someone to cleanse him eventually. Let's rest a bit more. Oh, we find found some natives dressed in jaguar pelts. Let's invite them to the camp. See if we could trade. They have some horn foods and some meat. We obviously don't need these shovels, so let's get two horn foods instead. Okay, seems like a fair trade. Now let's sleep. Okay, this is enough. Let's leave. No, I can go here. Oh, this is going to be a close call. Oh, actually, no. Okay, let's examine the shrine. A thick way of sand. Okay, that's okay. I can deal with that. Let's investigate the altar. Oh, nice, nice. We got golden llama and three horn foods. Climate change is going to piss off the natives, but. They liked us before, so it's not going to bother them too much. And we might even arrive first. Yes. Okay, let's enter the pyramid to end our expedition and finish it. A success. Current fame, 10. Golden pyramid, 100. And we were the first, so we get 200 additional fame. So let's finish the expedition and see what we can do here. Careerist. Promoting characters improves their loyalty. Navigator. Increases the gained compass accuracy or black market. Access more gear when equipping your trek before heading out into the unknown. I guess black market then. These suck. <laughs> all of all three of them. Oh my god, we nailed this one so well. So, what are we going to do? Uh, this one... This one we're gonna gift. We're gonna sell the elephant tusk. We're gonna gift uh, the study we did. And what about these? We have the golden llama and the mummy. I think I'm gonna gift free and sell... 
two. And the gift this one and the gift the mummy. Okay, that puts us at insane 640. 640 uh, fame and 110 funds. So, yeah, a very good starting expedition. I hope we're gonna be able to upgrade our animals soon, though. And I wouldn't really mind if we got a trader, but we'll see what the next expedition brings to us. We can go either to Dark Grasslands or Merciless Grasslands. It's going to be an interesting call there.